Hi, I'm Mike Lavnitsky, and this is my tour project that got deleted with Media Blender, so I redid it with a program called Game Maker, which is, I mean, it has many of the capabilities of Media Blender, but doesn't have some, such as having a link to a website, but has some others. It's actually made for making games, but I figured out how to use it for a tour. There are several types of um, classes of things, and there are sprites, which are object, uh, which are images that are not the background, sounds, which are sounds, backgrounds, paths, which are followed by objects, objects, and rooms, which are basically like levels or slides. The most important, uh, the most important ones are the objects that can react to user input, such as this tree object, and if you click on it, it creates bats which fly to the left. So, so and it's it's user inter and there's a transparency mode, so it's not like a square on top of a white square on top of something. There are things, there are images in between. So, well, there are lots of objects. So now I'm gonna run the program by pressing the screen arrow. Taking a while to load. So here's the first room or level or slide or whatever you want to call it. Instead of a stop action, I did something funnier, which was clicking on it and then a hammer comes down on it and hits it. I didn't quite get the ha hammer animation thing right. So, so now. I'm clicking on the graveyard and here you can shoot the zombies and there's a sound, a shooting sound and more spiders which you can kill, which is a little bit cruel. So right now I'm pressing the backspace button, which takes me back to the first room. So now I'm pressing on this and it takes me close to the house. I'm pressing on the tree and the bats are flying out, like I said. I can press on the door and then it goes forward and then I can click on that ghost to zap it, which will kill it. I can go upstairs where there's another ghost. So, I'm gonna go back in right now. And here's a door off to the side, which leads me into a dungeon. I can click on that dynamite and then I'll get it. There are more spiders. And I can click on here to see where it leads. And then I'm falling. So that's my character and I have to restart. So now I'm going back here, and I can click on this door, and then I can play this game, which is my replacement for um, having a hyperlink to a game. So when I'm pressing the arrow keys, I move, and there's a stepping sound. When I press the space bar, dynamite flies out, spinning dynamite, and when it hits something, it makes an explosion sound. So the zombies, they follow me around, and when I get to the door, I go to the next level. Of course, I must admit, the stepping sound sounds more like a machine gun. I'm gonna try to find something else later. So, you can blow up walls. But, so right now I'm gonna try and, and the spiders cause damage to you if they hit you. Oops, I died. So, this is getting quite boring, but once you get past several levels, you go upstairs because when you click on the door, you go into a dungeon and sort of like leading up to the upstairs. So, I'm going to go back to the beginning now. The re there this there's this program for Mac too, but it isn't compatible with this program. But it's really good for making stuff and for learning stuff on the computer. So, yeah. Thank you for...